In this video, we're going to show how to enable the new glossary feature in the latest release of Dimensions RM. The glossary is just a special class, and it's added to your RM project, just like any other requirement, using the class definition process editor. When you add this class, it will automatically add the glossary button to any of your HTML enabled text fields. If you think about it, a glossary really is a deliverable document along with your requirements. It has a lot of benefits and can be used to ensure that all the stakeholders understand what is meant by all the different terminologies, acronyms, and the phrases inside your projects. More specifically, it clarifies your requirement documents by providing a clear definition of all the important terms. And it can save you time in requirements meetings since all the stakeholders will be using a common language. And finally, it can encourage more effective communication among all of your stakeholders. I mean, think about it. If you look at just the English language, a word can have many different meanings. If I say jam, do you mean jelly on my sandwich or am I jamming out to music? Want to take a swim or head down to the pub to play snookers? Shall we go get our nails done or are we building a house? How about we play tennis, or are we telling the kids to keep the noise down? And you know what? Don't get me started on acronyms. So without a glossary, you can feel like an alien from another world when you're trying to understand what a requirement really means. So let's see how we can enable this glossary feature in Dimensions RM. So we have an HTML field, but we don't see the glossary button. To enable this feature, we need to go and modify the schema, again, using the class definition. So all you need to do is right-click and add the special class called Glossary. Add it to your schema doc. Notice you don't have to do any relationships. Save it. And now it's available. So if we go back to our requirement and we do a refresh, we'll see the Glossary button. To enter a term into the Glossary, Simply highlight a word and click Add Entry. Here you can give it the definition, a synonym, and finally just save it. When you scan the text in the system, it will highlight any words or any terminologies that are in the glossary, and then you can hover over that word and you can see the actual definition. Since the glossary is a class, just like any other requirement, you can create reports on it. So all we have to do is go pick the glossary class, give it a name, description optional, determine our report access, determine what fields you want to show on this report. Here we'll just show the definition or description and the synonyms. All the other fields are available as well. Save it, run it, and now we can see all the terms that are in our glossary. So just like a report, you can use the glossary in the documentations as well. So here we'll go find an existing document. We'll add a new chapter. Give it a name. Description is optional. And then we can add our terms manually, or we can base it on a query, just like we're doing here. We'll go find that report, which is a query that we created earlier. And now I have all of my terminologies that's in my glossary available into the documentation, and we can deliver that as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Please hit the subscribe link at the end of this video or check out other how-to videos on Dimensions RM.